Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the M9 HEDP frag grenade. The M9 HEDP, which stands for High Explosive Dual Purpose, is a standard issue frag grenade used by basically everyone in the UNSC, and is made by Mizraya Armory. This grenade is specifically designed to be used against infantry and light armored vehicles. The grenade has a hard metal casing with a frangible design meant to break apart into smaller pieces. The surface creates consistent, reliable fragment patterns. The grid-shaped casing houses a charge of Kamal, which are highly explosive, fitted with a mechanical primer. When the charge detonates, the grenade explodes, sending shrapnel flying all over the place at a high velocity. The grenade is primed with a small button located on the handle, quite unlike real frag grenades which use a pin that must be pulled before priming. The only trademarks I can find are the UNSC logo located on both sides near the primer button and the white text is illegible. You can carry up to two frag grenades on you and your grenade throw rate is around 1.3 seconds. The frag grenades can bounce around on most surfaces, but keep in mind, the frags must bounce at least once when they hit the floor in order to start the timer to explode. The amount of damage a frag can do is a full shield wipe and half health. You're also able to regen full health even after a frag lands right underneath your feet. The shield break radius I found to be around 3.51 meters. The full blast radius I found to be around 7.21 meters. An extra fun fact is that when a grenade is thrown directly at a player, it does baby damage, which can lead to funny kills out in the field like this. Alright, that's gonna be it for this analysis. Overall, I like Reach's Frag Grenade, for the most part. I think it does a bit too much damage towards health, and I would decrease the damage output uh, to health. Even being realistic here, I'm not sure how I feel about Halo's Frag being activated by a button. On one hand, that sounds easier to prime, however, can that button also be activated by accident? Unless maybe there's a two-stage button within, in order to prime the Frag and prevent an accident. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you want to stick around. Links to my shit are down in the description. And until next time, peace.